Repointing is a relatively easy job to do and could potentially save you a fortune. In this video, I'll show you how to prepare and repoint damaged mortar joints, such as these. Now here is going to be some of the tools you're going to need to be able to do the job. You've got a club hammer, some various trowels, bolsters, chisel for safety, glasses, gloves. You've got water, bucket and a brush for knocking up and for cleaning down. Start by scraping out the broken or damaged mortar. Ideally to a depth twice the thickness of the joint gap. Make sure you're wearing goggles and gloves before you start. If some bits are stubborn, gently knock them out using the chisel and the bolster. But be careful not to break any of the bricks. Once the old loose mortar has been removed, brush out the remaining pieces and the dust. Knock up a mortar mix with plasticizer to make sure it bonds into the joints, adding a little bit of water at a time. Don't make it too wet or runny, otherwise it will run out of the joints. Use either a flat iron or a gauging trowel for some new mortar into the joints. Or you can use the edge of a small pointing trowel. Once you've placed the mortar into the joint, you need to take off the excess. To ensure the joints are weatherproof properly, you'll need to repoint the joint by trimming it to match the rest of the wall. But only do this when the mortar has gone off a little bit, enough so that your thumb leaves a print but won't sink into it. Use a flat iron or gauging trowel to create angled, weathered, struck, flush or rake joints. You can even use a piece of hose pipe or doweling for concave joints. Once you've finished repointing, use a soft brush to blend the mortar joints with the edges of the bricks and remove all the surplus mortar that's not required from the face of the bricks. Now that's a job definitely worth doing. Don't forget to rinse off your trowels, lightly oil them and then put them away ready for your next job. Unfortunately, I'm going to be here till tea time. If you found this video helpful, tell others about it and look out for more how-to videos here on Draper TV. And don't forget to do a good job. You need good tools 